Charity covers a multitude of sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Imagine that, just to lo- live an authentic love, obeying the inspirations of the Holy Ghost, going to confession, praying, serving our neighbors selflessly, banishes all fear, as St. John says in his epistle, and covers an entire multitude of sins. Those of us who do not want to go to purgatory for an extended amount of time after our death, it would be very wise for us to live in love. And not just a worldly definition of love, but to love God above all things, to love Him with all of our hearts, to love Him with all our minds, with all of our energy, to love God and to continuously come back to this theme time in and time out. This is what we ask our Lord this week as we gathered this week as a community, as we had these beautiful missions uh, throughout the week. If you were here daily, you had three hours of reflection, prayer, examination, inspiration, and not just because of me, but because of the three hours of your soul opening itself up to the living God, the Almighty God, Christ. And we saw just during our missions, we saw that our Lord Jesus, again in the liturgy, ascended into heaven. He was taken out of sight. And that was now for 1,000 984 years ago that he's out of sight. But better, as he said a few weeks ago in a liturgy, in the Last Supper discourse, better that I go. And we say, what? How can that be? We like to see you, Jesus. We don't like to be alone. But it's better that we use the heart instead of just the eyes. And that is why Christ took himself out of our sight, is so that the heart can do extra exercises so as to catch up with the eyes do not see. Once, years ago, I don't even know where and how and what and what, but I was reading an article about a blind man who could not see, and he developed a super hyper sense of hearing. (laughs) He was able to hear the smallest little, I don't know, the little fold of a leaf or whatever. I don't know. But it was absolutely amazing. Why is that? Because he had no sight. So the ears started to extend themselves and strain themselves, right? And so the same thing with us. That's what this mission was all about. And that's what life's all about. That's why Christ is out of our sights. is because He's asking us to, to pay attention to the more important things in our lives. Especially the heart. Remember? Our mind and our wills. The will inspired by God's truth. And our humble reaction causes that heart to extra work. The heart, right? The things we love, the things that we dedicate ourselves to. And when Christ is out of our sight, and yet we love Him, we yearn for Him, we crave for Him, the heart is beautifully exercised, and we become holy. We become men and women of great virtue. So this is the sense of these missions. And this is also the sense of divine providence places us here in this novena, the first novena in church history, when the Blessed Virgin had to grab the the apostles and the others and put them in a cynicle and pray with them, reflect with them, examine with them, so that the coming of the paraclete, the Holy Ghost, can come. Power. The Holy Ghost comes and He just knocks you right off your feet. In the spiritual life, he fills you with courage. 
He fills you with boldness that you will not be afraid of anything, that you will love God above all things. You will not pay attention to those who will be trying to kill your bodies. And that's what our Lord forewarns us today, that they will be after us. They will come with butcher knives. They will come with calumnies. They will come with gossipers. And even members of your own family will come to betray you and to upset things within your life. Our Lord warns us. But, <laughs> like a little gnat, just swoosh it away. Why? Because our hearts will be so overly prepared. Because we will be so guided in the ways of the Lord that we will not even fear. Because the graces of God will be there punctually to help us. And we're all weak. And that's why we're going to continue this holy sacrifice of the Mass. To ask our Lord to produce fruits from these efforts we made in these last days of missions. That as we come to Holy Communion, it may be like a fertilizer, a divine fertilizer that comes and all the ideas that we had, all the inspirations we received, fruitified hundredfold, two hundredfold, three hundredfold. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.